Parliamentary Updates. The Rotunda Gallery at the Red House recently opened its latest exhibition to the public. The theme of this display is the movement of figures, the synergy of art and dance. The exhibition is featuring over 60 artists of all ages, seven of whom are children, with more than 80 artworks being displayed in the gallery and some being shown virtually on the Rotunda Gallery's Facebook page. The feature address was brought by the Speaker of the House, the Honorable Bridget Anisette George, who reminded attendees that the Rotunda Gallery has already hosted eight exhibitions with themes ranging from carnival to life through the eyes of a child. But the accomplishments of this gallery are only possible through the contributions of the artists who respond to our calls. The response in general has been overwhelming and that speaks volumes of the wealth of creative expression with which our population, small in number by international standards, is endowed. Parliamentary recess, long school vacation or not, the creative expression of the artist continues and the work of the artist is on show to capture you and to awaken and rejuvenate your spirit. Referencing the exhibition theme of art and dance, Madam Speaker spoke of the impact on our way of life. Our dances have been shaped by the elements of our history of migration and assimilation. Be the influences of our, of our first peoples, our Spanish legacy reflected in the Horopo and the Castilian, the European influence in the Tobago jig, the French in the Grand Ballet, the African in the Limbo and Bongo, or the East Indian in the Haro and the Kola Tam. Dance, therefore, can provide for us a moving tapestry, not only of our history, but the social, religious, and even political aspects of our nation, all of which are captured in the future work before you today. In fact, the piece on display by the artist Alan Brown political party is sure to pique the interest of the viewer and generate a lot of discussion. Madam Speaker also highlighted the connection between the Sustainable Development Goals and the exhibition. Oftentimes at these launches, I reference the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, and that there is a role for every individual to ensure that the SDGs are attained within the time bar of 2030. SDG number three, good health and well-being, is certainly one of the goals for which we can take individual responsibility. And one way is to keep moving, putting our movement to rhythm and to dance. This exhibition therefore affords our artists the opportunity to capture, whether with his or her brush or lens, and other tools, the artistry, skill, and grace of motion and movement through art. Holding with the tenor of the afternoon, a dance piece was performed by members of the Caribbean School of Dancing. Madam Speaker then toured the exhibition along with artists present. The Parliament Channel spoke with some of the artists at the event. Yeah, I just enjoy it. It does make me feel relaxed. Sometimes my mom does help me with the paintings and she doesn't help me because she says she doesn't mess it up. I've been drawing for five years for the model. She's my sister and she dances. And with the wings, I added the wings because it shows the movement and the flow of the art piece. And background is the forest. Well, this came about for Carnival last year when we could not celebrate Carnival. We were all stuck at home and I sort of wanted to give the public something to remind them of the colorful, you know, laughter, the happiness of Carnival. And, you know, it just came to me, the Mokujambi is a symbol of, you know, protection 
and during COVID, I think that's what we wanted to feel protected, and that's how it kind of came about. Dark color of the mokujambi is, you know, to signify that the protector is there, and then the colorfulness behind them is to remind us that there is still good to come in in the following years. A friend actually encouraged me. I was not aware. I, I honestly don't consider myself an artist because it's I'm so new. Um, but she really felt that my pieces were, you know, outstanding. They were different, and it, they would appeal to especially a lot of Trinidadians, not just here in Trinidad, but out, you know, outside who's living, who was stuck away, and they can come home. Or some people who have migrated, and you know, they want a piece of home with them. So this, she, she really encouraged me to, to submit it. She says she thinks it's it's worthy of you know being here, and I'm very grateful that it was accepted. You know, I think because of social media, there are so many people who are willing to try and, you know, they don't know where to display their things, how to go, where to go from having this passion and love for art, where do you go next? And I think this is such a wonderful opportunity. And for me, it was an opportunity to meet other artists, you know, to say, hey, you know, we connect as a community, you know, how, what did you do? How did you do this? How did you feel? How long did it take? You know, did you get frustrated? So I love the idea that, you know, you can come, you can look at people art, you can mix with the people. I honestly think it's a wonderful idea. I find that ballet dancing is beautiful, so I said that I wanted to dress up as them other than any other dancers. Um, this day in particular, we spent probably about a week researching, costuming, making sure that we had her look right, learning how to tie her headdress, learning how to the movement of the skirt because it was very specific for ballet dancing, um, vetting the location, making sure that capturing her in as earthy as environment as possible. Notice she's barefoot because I wanted her to be grounded. I wanted to make sure that it was as natural as possible for her. Um, capturing the photographs, it probably took about maybe 25 minutes at most. We had several others that we could have we could have sent in for this, but because we wanted to tell the story and keep it very very simple, um, we chose to do three. So it's along along the continuum of a series called Dance Daughter Dance. That's why we've sent in three photographs in particular. And we believe that Trinidad is so diverse in this culture. Um, we really wanted to have the opportunity to showcase this specific type of dance because to us, I mean, as you can see, it exudes joy, right? Everything about it is joyful. This painting is a mixture of spiritual and earthly. The, let's say this earthly part is the politicians themselves. A lot of times we see politicians, they then cumber, they, they sober, especially in parliament. But here I try to capture smile you know again as children growing up you know you had characters that we are uh, we, we, we fantasy characters like spider-man and superman so i tried to pull some of that through these people so you can see each of them here now as something that makes them happy you understand now that again now you see again they have uh, they're cooking a fish broth you see this one brings some wild meat so they're coming together and then you see them dancing. So they all are this here now again is that they, you know, they like play with each other. The spiritual part now is this. Now anytime you see this in my paintings, this hourglass, it represents something spiritual. And it is, again, the, the scripture talk about the time is short, right? So this here, as in Noah's Ark, the door has been shut and we see now judgment and what is happening now we, we believe as we believe in the lord jesus christ we are kept safe so when you see that in my painting that's what that means i've been painting since i was 12 years old i remember my dad bought uh, a small steel um, set oils and, and scalpel knives and, and, and paintbrushes and i so loved it but there's something else huh? my family there is like my brother, he does draw also. I'm a father, he does draw, my grandfather, they also draw. So I guess maybe something in the blood a little bit. But the thing is, I really, really love art. And since 12 years old, coming up to today, I paint, as I, I enjoy painting. I may get up like one o'clock in the morning, and I paint in. I might paint for sometimes 10, 12 hours a day, because I love it. It excites me, it brings a sense of fulfillment and joy. 
the Movement of Figures exhibition, which ends on Friday, 29th July, collectively depicts the movement of the human form, the many forms of dance that are present in Trinidad and Tobago, and dances that we are influenced by. Stay tuned for more parliamentary updates. For more information, visit our website at www.ttparliament.org and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Parliamentary Updates